one of the hardest pregnancy and postpartum postpartum Peter. Get the ring hey girl mom yeah they parents we not they friends look look i'm hungry look at my butter bean this butter bean y'all or snickerdoodle sugar pie cheeks whatever y'all want to go we just took about the other day and then they got ready for funky funky what happened say hi kamari look Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. You getting your brace taken down today, sister girl? Weeks. I'm sorry. Put this in diaper pill. Oh. Let that disinfect. Booze, you got you some organic milk going on. I'm really enjoying this postpartum, this pregnancy. I enjoy like the postpartum journey. I feel like I'm able to really just tune in and just be more patient. I feel like a lot of moms and women suffer with postpartum depression when they don't have the support they need mentally and physically. I'm at the door, honey. I'm feeding the baby first child and that was like one of the hardest pregnancy and postpartum journeys I've ever ever been through. It was mentally exhausting. It was very stressful. The only person I had it was my mom at that time. But when you had your first child and then the father is not you know not only not present but also stressing you the hell out during your pregnancy. Yeah, it was sick. It was crazy. It was it was a traumatizing time for me. You know, I can relate to all y'all. If you watching and you a single mom, if you watching and you a married mom, if you watching and if you a stay at home mom, a working mom, I've been there. I worked before before my husband got his career. I worked when we were building together. So I know all aspects of motherhood all aspects of womanhood but let your kids motivate you let your kids push you to be a better version of yourself don't be like that mom that gave up her kids to cps because life was life -ing. you can pay your phone bill and you can be on social media and you can take care of your kids yeah i was struggling so bad with kamari i couldn't even pay my phone bill do you know i gotta be you y'all know that's the last bill we hold on to that's the last three when you get so broke, you can't even pay your phone bill. You know you broke. You know you broke. When you just strictly using somebody Wi-Fi, you know you broke. Postpartum, when you don't have that support, you don't have that mental support, that physical support, it can be very hard on you. Look at Dumpling. You got a lash right here. What's that? Dude, with that milk. It's pretty, though. It, it's pretty. The color really uh yeah. brings a light to your face. But when I get my real beautician, but she... She no, cook. it's good. Y'all look at my mama hair. You don't lie. Oh, uh, uh, this is uh, my vlog for YouTube. She went blonde, y'all. Blondes have more fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it fits you though. It fits you. The color is nice. I like the color. I'll I'll keep this when she finishes. Let me go tend that. She ain't coughing as much as she was. Yeah, she not only at night really. But she, yeah, it's not as bad as it was. When Rapunzel gonna get this braid Really? I really want to talk about today. I just. Yeah. Ooh, you look a hot mess, girl. Yeah. If you feel like you suffer from postpartum depression, please seek help. Leave a comment. Talk to us. Let us know how you feeling after you done gave birth to your child. We want to be there for you. I want to be there for you. We want to respond with positivity and let you know everything is going to be okay. We want all moms to know they have a village. This is y'all village. 
That's why I created my YouTube channel to let moms know you're not alone. I share my life so y'all can see the realistic side of motherhood without all the fake stuff, without all the extra stuff. Uh, here, 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 So this is a set, y'all. I got this from Fashion Nova. I feel so good, y'all. Postpartum. Hey, I'm, I'm gonna be right back, ma'am. I'm gonna be right back, police. Mm. I'm in my big bag because I gotta carry my camera stuff in here with me. Different batteries in case it go dead. I don't plan on being gone that long, y'all. This set is so cute. This is a romper I got from Fashion Nova. Your girl look all sporty body. On fleek. On fleek. On fleek. On fleek. <laughs> Let's go, y'all. I need an account. So, so, so what do you want? So how much money you need to make? Ooh, uh, that sounds it's, seductive. It's, it's a setup, No, it's not. I'm going to get rid of my hair on my legs. What you think about my hair on my legs? It doesn't really matter, but go get it. You want to pop a new page? You be open, man. Eh? They call it sugar and bronze. Do take yes, ma'am. Just came and they are fully booked today. So we gonna come back tomorrow. But any they have tanning gonna drop. So if you were tanning early, okay. Moves, let me see. I'm trying to see if they have anything for that would be coconut oil. Exfoliating scrub. They have their own exfoliating scrub, y'all. That's cool. Okay. That's it's so goddamn hot in Houston. I can't wait for the fall weather to kick in. Cause where are you? Where are you? Where is the cold, cold wind? Where is the, you know? Hard. But let's be with that guy in here. What is this? Y'all look at this tattoo. See, this is what you want the sun for. Yeah, I ain't got no sun. Look at this. Oh, look at the pony. This is <laughs> this is funny, y'all. Oh, they have costumes for my special needs mamas. They're so cute. Y'all, this one, I saw this, so I was 3T, but Tari is in a 2T. Y'all, this is... <laughs> oh, I like that. That bow, that's cute. Let's see, I don't need to get this nothing for that restaurant. I'm a fall girly. They ain't really got much, y'all. The Halloween hair stuff is super cute. Y'all. Y'all know I like to do my girl's hair. This is cute. But what you gonna do with it after Halloween, though? You know, I think I think for the future. But I do want to do a little razzle-dazzle for some more hair for Halloween. I like the bobby pins. These are cute. Trick or treat. Oh, y'all. These are so cute. I'm gonna get these for my yay. Van Cleef dupes in here. Okay, they are so cute. Oh, I like this one right here. I like that one. Look at the Disney. Jewelry. My baby been wanting some earrings, y'all. It's like I want to get her those Disney earrings, y'all, but for fifty freaking dollars, I don't think she's gonna keep up with them. I think we're gonna do the the bear, the stack. Yeah, you know, so I'm gonna get this, and I wanted something over there for the kids. Okay. Of course, the mama gotta buy something for her baby, but she the only one that wear jewelry, y'all. One thing about a long one. It's gonna make you think twice. It's gonna make you feel like you need to put everything back and just go. I hate a long line. Unnecessary. 
So they got some cute little jeans. I'm getting these for Kamari for school. At Walmart. She needs some jeans, baby. I already knew Walmart was gonna come quick with the jeans. So I'm just getting her three pair for right now. I think baby girl needs a few more bottles. Um, Anti-colic bottles, but I don't want them in blue. See, these nice, but they open. I don't want no open bottles. They only have blue, blue. Oh no, they're pink. She need at least two more. How you know how many bottles to buy is if you can't use a new bottle every time you make your baby a bottle in a whole 24 to 48 hours, you need more bottles. Kamari love to play with little knickknacks, y'all. She loves stuff like this, so we gonna see what she think about it. Y'all know I just went grocery shopping. I'm real bad on still buying food, even after I go grocery shopping. I'm really bad at buying food. I don't know why I did that. So he said he want bananas and pears, yeah. And I wish I had a life. I wish I had friends to meet up with it. and cheers, some drinks to not being pregnant no more. I, I, I'm happy to be free. Y'all keep having them babies put me back to back. I don't want no more kids right now. I love not being pregnant. I can't be pregnant about <laughs> all my damn 20s. Shit, hell, my 20s are almost over. I'm damn, you could just, you could damn near call me 30 now. Yeah, let's go and get on up out here. Get back to these chilling. Home. Not man. <laughs> my food don't make it home. I got my babies some cookies and some fries, y'all. They got pizza at home, but fries is a little snack, honey. Ooh, keep on saying. Mm. I love me some Burger King, y'all. Burger King definitely won me over when I was pregnant. That Whopper. With the cheese, oh! But let me put, you, let me show y'all these mozzarella sticks, honey. I want to try the ones that um, ooh, look, baby, look at that. And you gotta get the ranch. Oh, she said it was hot, baby. I said, she said, be careful with hot sauce. I love my food, honey. I like that. You know where it's so hot, you. But you still gotta finish it because it's so good. I asked for the ranch though, y'all. It's. Mmm. Ten, ten. Ten, fucking ten. Oh, yeah. stimulation I feel right now but I also am frustrated because as a parent the way I was raised can you be quiet before I finish let me show y'all what y'all nieces what y'all nieces at right now Tari and Ebby you be quiet you understand are you gonna go sit in there with your dad and you don't want that Cause he gonna make you be quiet. But anywho, I'd rather my husband be the disciplinary, but 
y'all, it's just, I wish, I, it's like, I know kids gonna do stuff they not supposed to do. They children. It gets to a point like, what are you supposed to do if what you're doing not working? Like, y'all, they done, they just be doing stuff. Like, <laughs> they, I know it's kids that do way worse, but the girls just cut up the curtain. Really, it was a sheet. So when y'all see a sheet on the wall, on the, on the window, no, it's because, not because we don't want to buy curtains, but because I know my children. I know when they get bored, they do stuff they're not supposed to do. So I had to figure out a way to keep them from doing stuff like that to keep me from being overstimulated. Because that's what it's called. You know what I'm saying? When you get to that point where you, your voice is elevated, your head is hurting, you keep repeating the same thing, it's really overstimulating. They're going to make mistakes, multiple mistakes. They're not grown-ups. I be putting that pressure on me. I be feeling like it's my fault. Like I need to do more. But they got a hold to the kid scissors. So the kid scissors that I have, I will be getting different ones. The ones that cannot cut anything but paper. Because they cut the blinds one time. That's how I end up putting the sheet up there the first time. Then I come home and see that they cut up the doggone sheet the other sheet i mean the sheet that i put on there to cover up the blinds they cut up and it's just like what this is tuesday it's tuesday y'all it's tuesday i was supposed to end this vlog sunday but i was really tired and i could not complete what i wanted to show y'all so we finishing it today so it's currently tuesday y'all you girl just got out of school and she asking me for hot fries i don't really buy hot chips with my kids like as far as having a household snack but when we go out from time to time i do approve because i'm just cool like that sometimes i was feeling like a little fall like y'all was feeling like you know i love fall fall is my favorite season e autumn and fall of course my favorite season if you're from houston you know it'd be hot so i don't even think it's gonna cool down to like the end of october but i decided to do a little something with my restroom i couldn't find much but ain't this mushroom cute? Y'all, yeah, I'm put this on the counter. That's so cute. I thought that mushroom was cute. And I'm gonna change my my shower um my shower curtain. It got pumpkins on it. It's so cute. I was like, let me do a little one too. I feel like doing my one too. I'm gonna put these in the bathroom. These cute little pumpkin bathroom towels. They so cute. Look at the detail. They didn't really have much, y'all. The the rolls by me kind of sucks. It, 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 it sucks a little bit. You know, you know, a mama can never go nowhere without getting something for at least one of her kids. I saw these two little sets for a lie. I'll probably be able to fit them for a month or two. These cute. Y'all see you. <laughs> oh, yeah. I am a girl mom, y'all. I am a girl mom. And I love the shop size. But I really, my kids really did need some socks, real bad. They, they need some socks. But I got these for me, so I can start taking my jewelry out. Just a little one too. Just a little one too. That's all I got for me, child. Hey, this punky! Look at this punky! Oh, y'all hear like it? I'm gonna go put on my baby carry in a little bit. I feel like walking around. I saw this for Kamari, y'all. A DKNY set. Now this was cute. I was like, this is cute. Cause y'all know my baby in school. So I like to get her a cute little set. Stuff that's comfortable for her. Kamara loves to be comfortable. So I dress my kids how they like to be dressed. I'm not that mom, but of course my kids to wear stuff or get what, what, what may look good to the audience. I get what my kids like, you know? So Kamara got some more socks. And then I got uh, Ebby and Tori. They own socks. So hopefully this will keep them out their sister socks and keep them from disappearing. Cause they love digging in clothes. I had to also order on Amazon. Y'all, I got so much Amazon stuff to show y'all. I be buying so much stuff. I'm like, I need to start putting the mamas on. Cause I really be getting stuff that makes sense. That makes sense now. You know, it makes sense. Okay. And these some more socks for Kamari. These were really pretty. Y'all see the glitter? The glitter. Okay, and y'all, when I saw this, I'm like, this is why our stoves be nasty and full of oil because you don't have a splatter screen. And I had one before. I had got it from Dollar Tree, but the metal, it was just, it was irritating. This one is made of, what is this material? What, silicone? 
I'm like, this is perfect. You know, to put over your pie. That's what keep your stove from being nasty. Because I be getting irritated cleaning my stove, y'all. That's like, I just cleaned it today. That's a pet peeve. That's a pet peeve. I only clean my stove once, once a week. Oreos been having me in the choco, y'all. They been having me. So I got the gluten free so I can fix. So I can feel less guilty. I got some Parmesan cheese. I'm making it the fast way, y'all. I did get some heavy whipping cream, but I also got Alfredo mix. So, but to make it stretch, I am gonna put some heavy whipping cream with this. With this brand. This brand is the Rayo's homemade. A lot of people like this sauce. I never tried the Alfredo, but it looked good. It looked more seasoned than the other one. You know, the other ones look real white. That one looks seasoned, you know? And let me put, y'all, this is one of my favorite snacks, especially on my weight loss journey. I can't wait to start that with y'all. I've been getting ready though. I uh, these are blueberry flavored almonds. Oh, oh, they so good. I love them so much, y'all. Love them, love them, love them. I can eat, eat, eat. They was actually on sale. They used to be like five dollars. They was three dollars and something piece. And my kids like them too. I had to get some chip clips. Chip clips never. They just never. They never last in my house. I don't know. They just break. It's just great stuff. Back from y'all, I'm not doing all that. Y'all already know them kids like to destroy stuff, so I got them this little, this little light up pumpkin. This little light up pumpkin from uh, from Kroger's for a couple of hours. This the best it's gonna get in a restaurant because I ain't got time for that. They ain't about to be. Y'all, my kids is destructive. They stay hot. Y'all, these these have been my favorite trips since I was pregnant. I fell in love with these. They just like a nice little spice with some flavor. If you know Sun Chips, then you old school, baby. Sun Chips, Bugles, Munchos, Fritos. Those are the old school chips, baby. We love them chips. What, Twisters? Twister Barbecue? I never. These are good, y'all. These are the uh, Garden Salsa. You already know. Y'all already know. We love these. Y'all... We run through two boxes a week. Split my Kamara eat these every day. Tomorrow is her oatmeal oatmeal morning. So between oatmeal and cereal, these we been, these five Cheerios. Y'all did y'all thing. If y'all see this, please sponsor me, cause baby, we we would love to get a couple boxes, big box. Y'all need to make this in family size. That's my mama. Y'all even put my mama on. My mama love them. My brother love them. They was like, dang, why they don't come in family size? <laughs> I'm like, and then y'all, we trying some new noodles. I never had these pasta noodles. I'm like, I want to try something different. So these are some egg pasta noodles I'm going to use for the pasta tonight. Uh, by Papa Deli. These are some, it, it's egg pasta. So I thought these look cool. I was like, ooh, let me try these. <sighs> look like yeah, y'all. I got my mom carrier, my baby. I love me a good baby carrier. This one is very comfortable. It's made for back comfort. That's why I got it. This is my mom cozy. Very affordable. It does come with an extra band to secure baby more, but she's fine just like this. Uh, it's definitely better on my back. Cause I had the old fashioned one you wrap around, you tie yourself. And I had one with buckles, but y'all, it hurt my back so bad. This one, don't I don't feel like something is pulling me down. I'm so comfortable. Mom Cozy, y'all did that. Sponsor me. But anywho, y'all, I need to cook, get to cooking. Well, I'm about to boil the noodles, and then we're going to wash Kamari hair because... Yeah, her hair needs to be washed. If y'all want to see like me really doing hair, make sure you make sure you follow me on TikTok, Lachey underscore my foil TV, Instagram, Lachey underscore my foil TV, Facebook, Quasia Lachey. Cause your girl be yeah, I be styling and profiling. I love doing girls' hair. Y'all grew up doing girls' hair. Like I grew up doing a lot of stuff that I do now that I love doing. It was a hobby for me. Like I used to get paid to do my cousin hair do his dreads i used to do dreads actually that was like my struggle hustle when it was just me and kamari and i was like going through it baby i make me love 40 50 60 dollars here and there get him get me through baby get me through got me through um cook dana
epiphany. When you literally calculate all the time you spend in the kitchen each day, would you rather prep your meal in one prep your meals for the week in one day or just like keep like do the whole shebang in a day? Because I'm like the time I spend in the kitchen every day when I do cook, it, it's annoying. So I'm like, if I know what I'm gonna cook for the week before I cook it, I need to at least wash, like, do the tedious stuff, cut up my vet. Put that down now. Put it down now. Maybe I should do the tedious stuff, like cut up my veggies. You know what I'm saying? Cut like I should have put bell pepper in it. I should have put bell pepper, but I don't feel like it. Anymore. But like. Wash my meat, season my meat, like label it for the meal that I'm gonna cook. I think I'm gonna really try that, y'all, because I feel like it'll save me so much time per day if I just sacrifice one day a week to specifically. I only cook when I really cook. I cook like three times a week if if I really feel like. Cause this is my third time cooking this week. We done had steak, chicken. I mean steak, broccolini, potatoes. We had baked chicken. And we had rice and corn. Now we having Cajun pasta. What y'all think? Because when you think about it, we be spending so much time in the kitchen, shall I be hot? I'm sweaty. These kids be hungry. They done told me they hungry about 199 times. Like they starve. Look at them sitting at the counter. No. Mommy, Look how you see how they do me dirty. Y'all see it? They, no. they sitting at the counter waiting on food. No. All right, y'all. So this how it came out. Hubby just tasted it. He said he like it. So I didn't put a lot of salt in it, but the noodles are good. I just seasoned the shrimp and chicken very well. But this is a light meal. I'm just trying to lay out the rice for a little bit. Well, not eat it every day at least. How you feel about being the only man in the house? I don't think there's enough room for another man. It's too much masculinity right here. This a manly man here. How you feel? How you feel about having all these women, all this, all this, all this, what is it? You, men is testosterone, what is women? It's no, it's the same way I'm gonna feel, you know, if I'm around men, right? Here's the thing. <laughs> so, I grew up in a family of, you know, of seven, mm -hmm. six boys, one girl, right? Mm -hmm. So, I've already, you know, been in that type of environment that you imagine, man. Mm. You know, and, 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 it go right, I'm talking. And, you know, and when you grow up in that type of environment, your person life changes. Mm. You, know, you really don't care much about the gender anymore. You're gonna care more of you know of the you no. Know, you're gonna care more about a child. You're gonna at least you know, take care of you when you get old. Oh. I know that thing. Out too much noise. Out. 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 Okay. How was the how was the pasta? Cause you know you're a oh, rice the noise, man. The noise is too much. Oh yeah, the noise. <laughs> Men get overstimulated too. I tell them dads get overstimulated too. No, for me it's how my brain works right now. Like the noise you're making is unnecessary. Yeah. <laughs> but they do sound like happy kids. People say it sounds like we got a fun house. Yeah, I know they're happy kids. When I'm talking and they're yeah. Talking, you know, it's too much. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, go to your room. I'm gonna put it. Mom life, dad life. We just, I just try to make the best of it, you know. But I do definitely. We when we both stimulated, that that's when, that's when. But we've been really good lately, like able to handle it, especially because my husband been off. I feel like it's been ta it's taken a lot off his shoulders. Is even though he haven't really relaxed like as much as I want him to, he still. Getting some type of relief. Yeah, go, 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 turn it on, okay? Turn on the TV. Oh, I unplugged it and wrapped the plug up. That's what it is. <laughs> Y'all was so fed up earlier. I unplugged that TV. When well, me and my husband fed up, baby, we unplugged the TV. Wrapped, took the whole cord behind the TV because don't nobody like. Oh Lord, we we do the best we can, but we they parents, we not they friends, okay? I'm not about to, I'm sorry if my parenting is not like yours, but I'm not my child friend. I'm not your bestie. I don't want to have a conversation about pointless things. I'm here to train you. I'm here to teach you. I'm here to discipline you. I'm here to get you prepared for the real world. I'm here to prepare you to be an independent adult. I'm here to put you in position to win. We are here. 
to put these kids in position to win. We are not here to be their friend. That includes my daughter that has autism. I don't treat her no different. You do something you're not supposed to do, you're going to get disciplined. You do something I tell you not to do, you're going to get disciplined. They like Kamari, like the the only thing she can't control, I feel like, is the noise and the stimming and stuff. But when it comes to listening and not listening, doing what I say, you can listen, you can obey. Autism is not a reason to let your child run over you and do whatever they want to do. I'm gonna tell y'all that right now. So if you that autism mom, oh my child's special needs, I'ma just let them get they find they could just get away with it. No. It don't roll like that because in real life. When they're not with you, they're not going to know how to follow orders. They're not going to know how to follow directions. I know it's a lot of moms that do the best they can, and they child still give them backlash. I've seen it all, y'all, with autism moms. They really be going through it. That's why I be catching myself when I complain and, like, about her poo, cleaning her poo. Y'all, I was overstimulated yesterday with that. Like, the smell is just, uh. But I'm, and I was so irritated. I'm like, ooh, I'm tired of cleaning your boo boo. I am. But I'm like, when I look at other parents in my Facebook groups, I be in with autism moms. These kids be smearing poo everywhere, playing in it, putting it all over the room. I'm like, I really got it better than a lot of autism moms. They be making themselves bleed. They be doing all kind of stuff, y'all. It's sad. It's, it's heartbreaking. And a lot of moms, they, they don't be able to handle it. They, they don't be able to take it. My mom, she works in the special needs pediatrics, and she be telling me how the parents be coming in there crying. Be, and then some parents be having more than one autistic kid, so I know they all got to be treated the same because I don't want none of my kids feeling uh, they being treated unfairly. And then that's just how we roll around here. That's how we roll. We don't we don't let our kids do whatever they want to do. You do what you're supposed to do, you get rewarded. You don't do what you're supposed to do, you get disciplined. That's 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 what happened in real life. You go out and you do something bad, you're going to get disciplined. You're going to go to jail. You're going to have something happen to you. But if you go, you give, you do right, right comes to you. We know at the end of the day, they're going to leave us. We know at the end of the day, you know, they're going to be, it be it's going to be time, especially every start school next year. She really got to get prepared. That's what I've been really doing. Focusing on preparing her for social, to be social skills and getting her preparing her to be in a classroom and listen and follow directions that is my biggest thing i enforce every day listen abby i just keep even when she don't listen i still tell her listen listen to me listen because at the end of the day when the teacher say that i needed to click when my mom and my daddy said listen what were they referring to what happened when i didn't listen because baby i come up to the school I come up to, but I already know every gonna be told. The teacher's gonna be saying she talk a lot. I used to get in trouble for that. I used to always get an ish in conduct because I talk a lot. My mama too. We just talk a lot. <laughs> and she got her daddy brain when it comes to book smarts. Cause I'm smart, but my husband is super smart. But when it comes to personality, the goofy, the laughing, that's me, 100. percent The big mouth, 100 percent me. Kamari is kind of y'all know she don't really talk, so. You know, she chill, in my opinion. And Tori is like a mix in between. Tori be chilling. But she be talking too sometimes. Like, she in the middle. So, we're going to see what this little girl, uh, what this little one, what personality bring, she bring out. This is my twin here. I was telling my husband that. I said, it's so weird to have finally have one that look like me. It's weird. Tell the men every woman should be a stay-at-home mom. She, if she got the kids, she a good wife. Yeah, if she is a good wife, you know it should be it should be a prize, right? And it should be like a reward for them. And your camera can't just be everywhere like that. If you That's what vlogging is. Angle and face me the camera there, I can talk. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm keeping that in there. You know I'm keeping this at that. In I ain't cutting that. You giving me direction. No. So the camera is on my face, right? No. Yes. That's good. So Look. now you can ask me a question. So let me talk. You see yourself. Yeah, I see myself now. So it's good. You can take it a little bit like that. <laughs> so you can ask me your questions. By the way, I was I was trying to say something when the kids were you know talking and all that, right? Mm -hmm. And I wasn't able to you know wasn't able to ride on with my point. Mm -hmm. So I was saying you know I grew up in a family of seven, you know six boys and one girl. Mm -hmm. So you know growing up in that environment, I'm already used to living you know living around boys. And my views on life are also different. That's when I realized that men, you know, the gender of a child 
doesn't you know, doesn't matter. All that you know really matters is the child they're gonna take care of you when you are old. Hmm. Because especially you no know, children, right? If you have a <coughs> son, when your son is married, she swear. When your son, hair curly, yeah. she swear. To get you, lie. It's okay. It's just sleeping. Oh, 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 oh. It's okay. <laughs> okay. I told her she'd be breathing like she ran a race. She's stressing. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so like I was saying, right, when children are married, right, they're gonna go, you know, they're gonna be going with their family, especially especially men. You know, when they are when they are married, they're gonna be the often they're gonna be the breadwinners in their family and they're gonna have a lot of responsibilities. So they, they you know, they might not have time to think of their parents at that time because they already have a new family. Mm -hmm. And they are trying to you know they are trying to take care of their family, you know, family responsibility. And they are likely to forget their extended family, like their parents and so on. That's why if you look at the society, it seems as though the men aren't really, you know, taking care of their their parents. It's not that they don't have the desire, it's because you know, now how can you take care of the family that you have, the family you created, and the family you came from? You mm -hmm. see, right? It's a lot of responsibility. But as for women, you know, women they, they are likely to take care of their parents because you know they are like wives, right? Mm -hmm. And if they are lucky to be, you know, to, to be start a mom and they have enough time to do, you know, to do extra, like, to do some, some stuff to make extra money, you know, they are likely to at least, you know, spend some money on their parents and so on. Mm -hmm. uh, so they, <laughs> the load is on I'll men. be wanting to do, I, I don't the know. Load, the load yeah. Is on, yeah. The load is really on men. But all the same, here's the thing, right? If you have five children, and if one of them, and mm. if one of them at, at your old age really have the desire to take care of you, then you are very lucky. Mm. You are very lucky because, you know, most of them, they are likely to, they are likely to, you know, have their own family and, and move on. That's why I said, you know, for me, the gender of a child doesn't matter. All that matters to me, mm. you know, is at least one child that going to you know, remember me at my old age mm. when I can't walk, right? So, so let me, you know, let me care for my father. Mm. But at that time, you know, if the children are all gone, oh, that's another issue too. Yeah. You're going to be lucky. Maybe they, are, maybe they are gone with their husbands or they are gone, you know, they are gone with their wives. Mm. Now, how will you be able to sustain that moment to survive, right? So, what does lot. What does Laie name mean? Say it for the... Because they, they always ask you. What is Laie? Laie. What is her so, African name first? And then what does it mean? Yeah, so Africa and no, the the African name is Tamara Laifa, right? Tamara mm. Laifa. It means you know, wow. there's nothing like God, and mm. you know, it's more like you know, it's more like you know, you can't compare God to anything. God is the greatest. So mm. briefly, you can say God is the greatest. What about Ebi and Tari? So for Ebi, what's her African know, name? Her African name is Ebiiri. Mm. Ebiiri. It means you know, it means a beautiful lady, and that is your name. Beautiful lady, <laughs> and for Tari, you know, they, it's okay. Like, oh, I'm about to get my musket. It's okay. For Tari, the full name is you no, know, is Tari Ray. Tari Ray, mm -hmm. you know, it means a lady that loves, you know, that loves her husband. But mm -hmm. you know, briefly, you can just call her Tari, and it means love. That's why, yeah. Like, the book name. Oh, 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 look who's crying, y'all. Oh. Yep, it's time for us look, to... Look, 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 look. You wanna look at the camera? Oh, look. Time for us to say bye, Laie. Look, Laie. Tell them, bye? look, look, look. I'm hungry. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Come on, Laie. Uh -uh.